short one. A short one. Okay. Okay. Parshas Vayelech. Vayelech Moshe Vidaber as Advor Vayelech called Yisrael. Vayom Aleim. Ben Meir Vayesem Shona Nochi Ayom. Today I'm 120 years old. Lo Uchadod Lotzi Svalovo. I'm not able to go out or come. We'll see what this means. Vayesem Omer Eli Lo Saber Sayardi Nazir. And Hashem said, you will not cross the Jordan. Rashi, Anoch Hayom, Hayom Milu, Yom Aishnosai, Yom Zeh Nolarati, Yom Zeh Omos. I was born today, and I'm dying today. Vashem Omer Eli, Zeh Pirush Lucha, Lod Lotzis Lovo. Why can I cannot go and come? Vashem Omer Eli. Lucha od lotzi slovo yocho shitoshish kochi is it kocha is it because he was his strength waned Talmud lomar lo kosa eno lo nos lecho his eye did not weaken and his vibrancy did not was did not was not lost el malu uchal ene rashoi shenotli many harishus vinitno leoshua I'm not permitted the the right to act as a leader is no longer with me. It was given the mantle was given up to Yeshua the Varachil Lotzis Lovo B'Divrei Torah Malami Chinistum Imenu Besoros Mayonas Achochma. That from here we see that all the wellsprings of wisdom were sealed, and therefore that's the meaning. I'm not meaning I'm no longer functional as as a conduit of Torah. The Gemara says at the end of Tumura that the last day of Moshe's life he said to Yeshua. Do you have any questions to ask? Because the world springs are still open. <coughs> he says, I have nothing. It says, it was, it was, it was, it was like taken aback. I'm here, I'm giving opportunity. And this is, this is now because once motion passes away, the, the Torah c- concludes. The Torah is not, there's nothing more communicated. The Mora says that, if a prophet comes to introduce a new halacha, which is not a fence, he's considered a false prophet. See, Moshe is giving Yeshua the opportunity to draw other levels of of Torah, of the divine, and he says he wasn't any. He's, he's communicating. He's communicating what Hashem is telling him. The connection is still there. So it says Daito, and then afterwards, it's that day that Moshe passed away, they forgot over two thousand, two thousand halachas were forgotten as a result of the grieving mourning of Moshe. They were upset with Yeshua that they wanted actually killed Yeshua. That's how upset the people with him. So Sosnil Baknaz, through his uh, depth of, of pilpul, of, 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 of Torah dialogue, he was able to bring it back to recover the 2,000 halochas that were forgotten. But they were upset. They were very upset with Yeshua. Here you have such an opportunity. How do you say that you, it's not necessary? We have it all. We don't need more. He should have said, whatever it is, just keep, let it just keep flowing. But he didn't. We have a minion. Jerry um, Cass just walked in. Yeah, no? We don't have 10? Okay, so let's go a little further. He said something phenomenal to Sifarno, to Sifarno. David when you studied Sifarno with the Art Scroll Rabbi uh, Pelkowitz, his, inter- his commentary. He says, Moshe only inf- informed them of his passing only once he concluded the bris to tell them the bris of Arevus, Jews' communal responsibility. He should have told them at the same time, you know, I'm about to pass away, I have to inform you about this bris. So he says, he explains, it was crucial that they have to accept it, embrace the bris with joy, 
And if they would have been aware that Moshe was going to pass away, they would have been, they would have been uh, in a state of melancholy, de semi-depression. Therefore, first he informed them, because the Brits had, they had to accept it b'simcho, al derech yismach yisro b'osav. Kalal so we rejoice with our Maker. Come with zip, zip, zavat to shlom, v'chal to shlom, to shlom, shem lokech, when we bring to shlomim, you have to rejoice. Whenever you serve God, you have to rejoice. Whenever you have that connection. This is similar, why not, why weren't they struck down a couple of satora? So Rashi says, because they deserve to die then. Hashem just delayed their death until the eighth day of Hakam Mishkan. Because when we accepted the Torah, Hashem didn't want that the tragedy of Nadal Aviyu should in any way detract from the Simcha of the Torah, of the giving of the Torah. Same idea. Especially that was the most monumental moment, Kabbalah Sa Torah. Here, this is the only a bris, this is the renewal of the bris, whatever the bris was. So, to, to inform them that he would die, this would somehow infringe or weaken or impinge the level of simcha, therefore he did not reveal it to them. No, no, Vayilach Moshe, this is the last day of his life. No, 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 but this is after the bris. This is right after the bris. They didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. They didn't know. But factually, it was the last 36 days of his life. Okay? So he says over here something interesting. He says, Shema Melo Sabar. God says, you're not, you're not passing over the Yardin. So me to delay is only delaying you from entering into the land. If I, there's no way I could cross that line. So therefore... I have no right to delay. If there's a chance, maybe I could go with you. It's okay. Since it's worthwhile, we should delay. But since it's already been confirmed beyond any doubt that I'm not going, that's what he's telling him. Because I'm 120, I cannot go. Therefore, I'm passing away. And it's time for you to go without me. And to assume there's no level of leadership, which is Yeshua ben Nun. Hashem adokecho ove elofanecho. He will destroy these nations and he will uproot them. Yeshua is passing before you as Hashem had spoken. Now it's interesting. This is very, very important. What would this, if you remember the Rechaim HaKadosh had explained what was the mistake by the Miragli. He explains by the Miragli it says the land of Canaan that Hashem is giving you. But that piece of the communication to the Moraglim did not, did not register, did not resonate with them. Because what was the claim of the Moraglim? How do we conquer giants? It's, it's a people which, they're not conquerable, these nations. So therefore, Hashem had said initially, the land of Canaan that I am giving to you. So Archaim HaKadosh explains that a person gifts a piece of property and the tenants on the property. And the gifter says, I will deliver the property tenant free. The, the, the new uh, owner of the property does not be concerned. He ga gave the guarantee. Hashem says, I will remove them from the, from the land. So giants has no relevance to you. And this is really what he's saying. Hashem will destroy them. Yeshua is the one who is leading the, the people into the land. But who's doing actually the destroying? So therefore, there shouldn't be a moment to think, as we made the mistake in the past, that we have to destroy them. It's not us, it's Hashem destroying them. So I think with the Moroccans, they, but still they have to go and kick the people off the land. The they didn't, they didn't. Land. If there wouldn't have been a story with the Moroccans, it would have been a Yericho story. It would have been Jericho. The moment they came, they would have just fallen, they would have died. Because they were lacking in faith. That's the reason why they had to go to more of a conventional uh, conquest. It was miraculous, but it was only semi-miraculous. Otherwise, it would have been fully miraculous. They would have had literally done nothing. He will do to them as he did to Sichot Og Mel Chamori. So again, what was o also? It was, impo it was impossible. You know, we say in the... Uh, in the what in the in the hodu Hashem kitov kil mechasto, so we said l'sicho mel chamori l'mel chabosh kil mechasto. So the measure says over there at the end of Bamidbar that it was more difficult to remove sicho and og than paro v'chelo. In terms of what they represented, in terms of their spiritual counterpart, it was it was impossible. 
was much more difficult. And, and really, Kalal Yusuf should have said Shira, as they said by Kriyas Yamsuf. They should have said Shira after Ogun and Sichon were destroyed. But because they didn't say Shira, because they didn't understand really how difficult it was, Dovin Mel said Shira. And that's why he says in the Hodu Lashem, the Sichon El Chamori, Kilim Chastel, Ogun El Chabashim, Kilim Chastel. He was making up for the Shira that Kalal Yusuf did not say when they actually were destroyed. So here he says, Vosel Hashem Lehem Kasher Osel Sichod Olog Melech Amori. Want to say as he had done to to Mitzrayim, right? To Paro Mitzrayim. That that is the, that was the most seminal moment of Klal Yisrael becoming a people. That was the pre Sinai. But still, but they understood they left Egypt. They understood they left Egypt. There still there was a mitzvah of, of, of uh, telling over the Makos and the story of, of Pesach. The story was very vivid in their minds. It was their parents, their grandparents were there. Sichno, good, even though it was most recent, but in terms of the dimension of the event, but the, what he's citing, he will just remove them as, you, as he did to Sichno and Og. The answer is because Sichno and Og were more difficult. And what's coming, down the, the, what's coming down the pike in terms of the 31 kings that had to be removed, the seven nations, they were, some of them were more difficult than that. So there was nobody more difficult than Sichno and Og. So if Hashem destroyed them, you have nothing to be concerned about going into the future. Okay. Second. I will put them before you and you do to them according to the mitzvah that I've commanded you, which is to destroy them. This is all the members of these communities, these nations had to be destroyed. You should be strengthened and you should have vigor. You should not be fearful or you should not be broken. Before them. Because Hashem is, is going with you. You should not be weakened. He will not allow you to be weakened. He will not abandon you. So it goes together, Rush. He will not allow you to feel uh, any state of like hopelessness that you should feel that you've been abandoned. It's not two separate things. Lo yarbcho v'lo yazveko, even though the vav seems to be superfluous. It says lo yarbcho, lo yazveko, kama lo yazveko. It's not lo yarbcho, lo yarbcho v'lo yazveko. Unless it means he will not allow you to feel in a state of hopelessness that you feel abandoned. Okay, let's see.